Welcome back to the Make or Break Shop. This week we're talking about this 50 watt Chinese laser and whether it was a good idea. All right. So let's talk money. So the first step was to research this and I bought it off of eBay. I went with this Prenex 50 watt CO2 USB labor, which I've actually linked down below. So let's talk about where I messed up and that is right off the bat. All right, so here's the main thing that I did wrong when I bought this machine. Big thing is that this is a Litro controller. So I wanted to use Laser Burn, um, which is a software from some folks that I met actually at Maker Faire. The great part about that is that it is American made, so it's a lot easier to use. The thing you wanna look for is a Rueda, R-U-I-D-A based controller. Sometimes these things are pretty hard to come by, um, but when you actually are looking, this is the controller that you're looking for. So this is a Ruida controller, DSP controller, CO2 laser encoding machine. I think eventually what I'm gonna do is just buy one of these and actually do the conversion. All right, so I used eBay and I made the decision to buy. And the next step was actually get it to my house. I got a call from a shipping company and all of a sudden, this guy showed up. So I got this big crate that I've actually already taken apart. Here's a quick picture. I got it out of its package. And now I just have it waiting to go to the trash. But this thing was uh, no joke. Nailed together, had to get a crowbar to get the whole thing out. But it was actually packaged really well. So once I got it inside, overall the build quality is pretty good on this thing. Uh, all the stuff that it came with was actually inside. Uh, and those things were the air pump, pretty simple compressor that it comes with. It, it gives you all the nozzles and everything that you need to get everything connected together. As well as there is a tube that is coming from the back of the laser that is for air. That all of these ports are labeled on the back, it's actually in English, so it makes it pretty good. Um, one thing people do with these that I still need to do is actually just attach it to a piece of wood or something because this guy likes to dance around whenever I turn it on. As well as a water pump. Um, this is just to cool the laser. You pretty much have this going at all times. Um, there are tubes from the back of the laser. There is a out tube, which is going into this water as well as an end tube, which is right here. And then it comes with this aquarium pump that you just drop into uh, distilled water. I haven't done a great job of setting this up yet. Uh, the idea is to get it so that like sawdust and stuff is not getting in there. So you guys can see right here is a water chiller. People will use this obviously to keep things cold, but they will also put a heater in line so that your temperature stays the same amount. So this was inside of the box, this pump, as well as these tubes. And then I just bought this little container to make everything else work. So here's a quick look of everything that is actually going on inside. So it's got belts for the X and Y, but the Z, you actually have to turn this to go up and down. There's some other attachments you can get um, that can automate that. But for a lot of what I'm doing, uh, I don't need to do that. This is the actual laser attachment. The laser is coming out just below here. One great thing about this is the actual air assist that is right here. And so there's a compressor that came with it as it keeps the burning down and there's actually air. It's not coming out right now because the compressor is not running, but there's actually air that's gonna come out right here. So a few things with this that regardless of what unit you get. So this just lets you toggle back and forth. And then datum is gonna take it back to the top left. So like with the CNC, the zero is bottom left versus the laser, which is top left. Something else that is super useful, so I have a file that's already loaded up in here, but sometimes it's really hard to tell like where it's actually going to cut. So this test right here um, is gonna do the outside, the outside boundaries um, of where the cut would happen. So in my case, I'm working on these making it 200 signs. Some people will make like zeros and everything where you can just butt stuff up against and you're good to go. Uh, but for now, this has actually been pretty easy. Also, I've seen people will use magnets to hold this down. I haven't had to do that so far. That's something that I'm looking to add on and it's, they're super cheap and really easy to do. So there are a few other things that come in the box that I wanted to show you guys. First off, it comes with this little bag thing. It's got all the other stuff with it. You have a set of Allen wrenches. 
that are on this funky key thing that doesn't hold. You've got some safety glasses. So now I can go double glasses. Everything that I've read is that clear acrylic on top is gonna to keep any of the laser beams coming out. But just to be safe, these are probably a good idea to have on just in case. Again, never have the top open whenever the laser is running. The fire shooting at us! You never know what can happen, especially with the bed that is in there. You can have beams popping up at your face and all kinds of stuff that would be super bad. Oh, 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 uh, you have an ethernet connection. So you saw that port on the side. Um, I guess you can hook this up to a network and then you can send information. I haven't been able to get it to work, but uh, maybe you can. Don't totally know what this is. I'm guessing it's something to do with the water, maybe, coming back. Or this could be for air. I have no clue what this is for, but I have not used it so far. All right, so this is some grounding wire that you can use. Again, to ground the machine, um, I have not done that because I'm mainly running everything through a multi-outlet, which I hope is helping, that does have a ground on it, uh, but we'll see if I catch everything on fire. Uh, you got some tape for sealing, I guess all the water as well as the air. Actually, I think this is electrical tape. Yeah, this is electrical tape. So this is for anything electrical. They give you a clear piece of acrylic, I guess, to test stuff out. And last but not least, I have not put this to use yet, but this is the rotary attachment. But this is so you can engrave um, anything that is circular. This nice rotary attachment. Um, some of them don't come with this, but usually they're about the same price for the ones that do. So be sure and find one that has a rotary attachment. All right, so coming around to the side, this is uh, the electrical panel as well as how you get everything connected to the computer. Um, I only use this one, which is the controller switch. This is the laser, which I only turn on if the top is closed. You can also plug in your water pump and your compressor to this. There's a panel right here uh, that I guess has that electrical, but everything that I saw said, be uh, careful with the grounding. And so those are actually plugged into a separate power strip on the other side. And then circle around to the back side, you can see this is where the exhaust came out. So the blue tube as well as the clamp are also included. And I normally just take that right out that window uh, whenever this thing is running, but it's closed right now because it's super cold. So let's actually get to the laser piece. It comes with this, this little triangle hex key. All right, so let's talk about laser path for a second. Obviously it's coming from this end from the laser side, traveling all the way down this. So it shoots out right there and bounces into that mirror. And these are adjustment knobs if this thing gets out of a line. So overall, am I glad that I actually made this purchase? I would say yes, I do wish I'd gotten a different controller. Again, Ruida, make sure and check that out. Um, but overall, this thing has been a blast to put together. So there is a playlist right there of all the other projects I've been doing, specifically CNC stuff. And I'll be having a lot more laser stuff here in the future. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what's going on here. And until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.